Hey guys and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews. Today I have the 2019 Genesis G70 3.3 all-wheel drive. This is all courtesy of Auto Fair Hyundai in Manchester, New Hampshire. And I'll make sure to include the link in the description to their website and all that. If you want to buy this specific car, because this one is for sale, you can go ahead and buy it. Looking at it, it just looks amazing. Nice summer tile tires from the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. Brembo brakes all around. Just take a quick look at the window sticker here. This specific one is 53370 and includes a bunch of stuff. The Genesis Experience, which we'll talk about a bit more on the drive, and just so many different features. This one's pretty much fully optioned. And yeah. Let's go ahead and hop inside. Once inside, it's a very, very nice place to be. Black leather with the red contrast stitching. I believe you can get red leather on these as well. Mm -hmm. That would probably be the spec I would get. The, the blue with the uh, red leather, that, that's nice. You have the full 360 camera there. So yeah, if you wanted to talk about the uh, Genesis experience a bit more. So a lot of times luxury people, when they buy luxury cars, they don't really have the money for everything. But basically what look, Genesis provides is a whole experience. So basically we do have a three years maintenance program, meaning basically all the maintenance in, within three years, let's just say uh, tire rotation, oil change, stuff like that is covered. It's given with the vehicle. And obviously we do have this pick up your vehicle as well. So basically if you need certain maintenance done, we come pick your car up and give you a special loaner with the same trim level as well. So basically you're not stuck without a Genesis for maintenance. That's awesome. You do have multiple different drive modes. Right now I was in sport mode. You have comfort. Eco Smart, which adapts to your driving conditions, as well as Custom, where you can customize every option. Put it back into Sport mode here. Once driving, the throttle's nice and progressive. It's not at all touchy. It's perfect for daily driving. Same thing with the brake pedals. does have a really good sound to it and I'm sure many of you watching do know that this is the stable mate with the Kia Stinger wheelbase is a little bit shortened and the driving experience is actually very different this is a much more driver oriented car than the Stinger it's really well done Well, I can't demonstrate it right now because of copyright laws. The sound system is a lexicon system and it is amazing. It's probably the best stereo system I've ever used in a car. It's really, really well done. And while some people may be watching this thinking 53,000 is a lot of money for a car, the G70 is a lot of car for the money. It's pretty much the opposite way of the saying this honestly I would compare this to a Maserati Ghibli and I'd rather have one of these than the Ghibli after driving the Ghibli it was kind of eh, kind of iffy and I would rather spend my money on this car than the Ghibli and that's coming from a Hyundai product which is mind-blowing go ahead and experience the power here a bit Yep, it's uh, quick. It's definitely quick. It's not slow at all. <laughs> 365 horsepower. And do you know the torque figure off the top of your head? I'm not 100% sure. I know it's up around the 350 to 400 range as well. This is such a good 
car. <laughs> yeah. Paddles are very responsive to both up and down shifts. That's one thing that can ruin a great car is the transmission. You know, if, if it's a five-speed automatic, the car itself can be amazing, but the bad transmission can ruin the experience completely. Just notice the, the headliner is almost like an Alcantara type material. It's not the cheap cloth stuff that you'd find in almost anything else. Essentially, the G70 is a car full of surprises. That's pretty much what it is. People are usually mind blown because they want luxury car of the year this year. So when people come in, they want to just see why this car won luxury car of the year and they're very, very surprised. Absolutely. just sounds so good too. I fell in love with this car when I first I drove it. <laughs> I can see why. <laughs> I did too, honestly. And if you don't know, you can get a four cylinder. You have rear wheel drive options, all wheel drive. You have the two liter four cylinder, which if you get it in rear wheel drive, you can get in a manual, which those are probably going to be the enthusiast choice, but I don't know. I'd, I'd probably swing for the 3.3. Three. Uh, I know you would too, yeah, but... for sure. <laughs> Let's see how it does down a, down a little back road. There's a nice twisty back road right up there that I normally review a lot of cars with. Oh, nice sunroof too. a tsunami of torque. There's really not much lag at all. There's not many cars that I review where I end the review and I just fall in love with it. And this is one of those cars. Yeah, we do get a lot of customers that come in in Audis and BMWs, a few different luxury models. Mm -hmm. And when they drive a Genesis, they literally leave with one. Oh, it's yeah. Amazing, the Genesis. That way we can give launch control a try. As long as you don't mind, of course. To engage launch control, you go ahead, just hold the traction control off button. To engage it, put your left foot on the brake, floor the gas. And she's gone. <laughs> Man, every time I drive this car, I fall in love with it. Because I have driven one before, like I said, these guys don't know, but it's just such a good car. and I. 
I totally understand where the car of the year came from. Because I drove the Julia. Yep. I drove the uh, TI Sport. Not driven the Quadrifoglio yet. That's very tough to come by. Um, but I was not impressed by the car. It's a fun car, but it's not nearly as good as this. Yep. And even the Stinger, the Stinger isn't as good as this car. I mean, if the only advantage I found with the Stinger, like I said before, was the rear seat room. Other than that, it really, this is a better car. It's good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> and the ownership experience of this car is going to be better than the Kia Stinger anyway. Because there's a lot of horror stories about Kia dealerships. <laughs> Never heard anything about a Hyundai dealership. Well, anything other than a good thing. Another big thing too, which can be a plus or minus depending on how you look at it, is this car gets a lot of attention. You were telling me the story with the customer where he was at a pub and everybody came up to him to talk about it, asked what the car was. Just driving to start the review, we had a guy in a WRX stop and look at what the car he did a double tech take on it it definitely draws a lot of attention it's unlike anything else that's on the roads which to me that's a huge plus you know to be able to have a car and have people go is that a bentley is that a maserati if if you can pay 53 for a car and get those kind of questions you know you're in an awesome car It's so good. There is a ton of mechanical grip in this. It's the first time I've driven one on the uh, Pilot Sports. I drove one with the All Seasons and it was good. There's like no body roll in this thing. And at the same time, it's not at all punishing to drive. There's also a feature which you can engage in the main display where once you put the car in sport mode, the bolsters tighten up which that's really, really cool. Only other car that I can think of that has that is the E60 M5, which is the V10 craziness that is about as reliable as like a Maserati or Fiat. They are not reliable whatsoever. And that's the best part about this car is, you know, the Germans tend to be a bit unreliable. Uh, and I do believe in JD Powers and Rank Genesis the most vehicle yeah so another plus obviously <laughs> absolutely there's not a lot of downsides to this car and it's an easy sell to the wife too because it's a four-door practical car I'm just gonna say right now this is the best sedan I have ever driven the best this is very very good All right, so I'll go ahead and wrap up the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is one of many videos to come with Auto Fair Hyundai. And I'll include a link to the salesman's name. I'll put a link to his information all in the description box below. And have a great day.